Now then, welcome back. <coughs> yep, I'm with another stick making video, and we're gonna be doing another thumb stick, Hazel. Get that one like this. Yeah, so there you are. It's uh, ain't much work to do to straighten it. It is a solid stick, mint perfect V there, natural. It's slightly off side center there. So I'm thinking about uh, heating this up and straightening that to get it get it as equal. Yeah, it hasn't, doesn't need a great deal of straightening, but that's what we'll uh, yeah get on to now. So there we are using the steam to heat up the stick. I've already done it on a bit on here. And a bit more on here maybe. But yeah, this was the most biggest bend, so what I tend to do is find the most obvious bends, get them out of the way, and uh, straighten them out, and then work my way back through until I'm uh, happy with the final result, but yeah. So it's quite a big, big stick, it's quite thick. Um, just add that extra timing on for the uh, warming the stick up more than usual, because obviously bigger area to heat up. Oh yeah, won't be that long till the whole thing straightened out. Well, yeah, there we go. Heated it up and just bent it gently, just on the edge of the counter there on the rag. Just gently, gently, just so it's as symmetrical as possible. String it all out. Yeah, and I'll just let it uh, cool down and then we'll start uh, working on it. Yeah, thanks to all the subscribers. Oh, I've got a bit of a kink there. A little bit more straightening to do there. Yeah, thanks to all the subscribers. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, it's free. Uh, yeah, I'll finish this off and then uh, we'll crack on. Yep, there it is. All I've done now is I've uh, cut the, uh, the V, the thumb stick down a bit. I'm just going to work and round these off. And I've cut a bit off the end. Being such a thick stick, because it is a good strong one this, I haven't got a ferrule uh, big enough. So I'm just going to keep it as it is. But yeah, this is a right good, strong, thick stick this. But yeah, if you want to help out uh, with channel, just go look in the description. I have a Kofi link. Click on that. Yeah, you can help channel out. Get some new ferals. But yeah, it's much appreciated. Always really like the support. But yeah, we're getting there, aren't we? Alright, here we are. I've uh, given it a quick sand in. Obviously, I haven't done a, haven't done a, a lot yet. I'll lean up with some finer grade sandpaper. Yeah, this is a right strong, chunky stick, this. Oh, proper chunky and heavy at the bottom. You could, you could do some uh, serious dam damage if you clout someone with this. Uh, yeah, finish off sanding. Neaten it up, give it a quick bit of varnish. I ain't putting a ferrule on the end, keeping this basic. Be a right working stick. So, yeah, here we are. Finished stick. Also varnished it as well. It's proper bad weather here, so it's a bit windy. But yeah, varnished it all up. That's well, a good, uh, good thumb stick. This, like all thumb sticks, the hev well, not all thumb sticks. Usually, the heavy ends always at the bottom, and this is a a right big stick. This, yeah, it's a right proper chunky thumb stick. This, ah, uh, yeah, so good in that. That's the uh, next uh, project. I'll just put this down. Hell, that's getting more see it. Yeah, my next project is going to be this uh, hazel. It's quite dark. See, this is hazel as well. I've got a lot of like snakeskin type colouring. But this one's the more dark. This comes out really dark. But yeah, it's a right chunky knob stick potential. This has got a right good crack. You can literally see right through. 
hell, I'll have to turn it round. Ooh. Yeah, there it is. So I know a lot of walking stick makers would look at that and they could uh, carve all sorts out of it. I haven't got the artistic ability yet or the means. So uh, oh, yeah, I'll uh, cut it down and see how much actually is left of decent wood to make a good uh, knob stick shillelagh type so yeah it's half decent that well thanks for watching i really do appreciate all the support and tips and advice i always get in comments so yeah that, this is my next project